Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday, the 4th of December. Winter session of parliament begins with loud chants of PM Modi after poll wins. Gunmen kill bus passengers in Gilgit, Baltistan, reminiscence of 2012 sectarian attack. And Bangladesh secures $8 million boost for climate resilience. Now for all the details, a day after BJP swept the assembly polls in three North Indian states, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was greeted with loud chants of Tisri Bar Modi Sarkar in the Lok Sabha as the winter session of the parliament began on Monday. Ahead of the proceedings of today, PM Modi said the political temperatures in the country are soaring even though the winter is approaching slowly. He further said that winter session of parliament is a golden opportunity for opposition parties to do something constructive. तो जो विपक्ष में बैठे हुए साथी हैं ये उनके लिए गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी है इस सत्र में पराजय का गुस्सा निकालने की योजना बनाने के बजाय इस पराजय में से सीख करके पिछले नौ साल से चलाई गई नकारात्मकता की प्रवृत्ति को छोड़ करके इस सत्र में अगर सकारात्मकता के साथ आगे बढ़ेंगे तो देश उनके तरफ देखने का दृष्टिकोण बदलेगा द विंटर सेशन विल हैव 15 सिटिंग्स टिल डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी टू द गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रेजेंटेड हैवी लेजिस्लेटिव एजेंडा ऑफ द सेशन विद की बिल्स टू रिप्लेस द कॉलोनियल एरा क्रिमिनल लॉज अ ड्राफ्ट लेजिस्लेशन टू प्रोवाइड फॉर अ फ्रेमवर्क फॉर अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ द इलेक्शन कमिश्नर Authorities in India's southern states of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh on Monday closed schools and offices, halted flights and evacuated coastal areas ahead of a severe cyclonic storm expected to make landfall in the next 24 hours causing torrential rains. The two states were on high alert for damage with warnings issued for fishermen not to venture out into the sea. In Andhra Pradesh where the cyclone Mishong is expected to make a landfall on Tuesday morning authorities have so far evacuated over 7000 people from coastal districts and were mulling to evacuate a total of 28000 people uh, due to this uh, cyclone during last 24 hours many places recorded heavy to very heavy and one or two places extremely heavy rainfall also occurred now the over the districts chennai tirulur kanjivaram chengalpet the heavy rainfall and strong winds are likely to continue till today night moving on members of the jess and freedom movement marked national sindhi cultural day with widespread protests demanding a stop in illegal immigration as well as release of missing persons from sindh allegedly kidnapped by pakistani forces the participants were seen holding the national sindhi flags banners and posters They also asked for the dismissal of a scheme of Baharia town and to stop the forced conversion of Hindu girls. The protesters appealed to the human rights organizations to notice their demands. There are several nationalist parties in the province who advocate for a free Sindh nation, calling Pakistan an occupier that has been exploiting their natural resources. And at least nine people were killed after unknown gunmen attacked a bus in Chilas in Gilgit, Baltistan, this past weekend. No group has claimed responsibility. However, the region has been marred by sectarian violence for past several decades. Gunmen attacked a bus near the town of Chilas in Pakistan-occupied Gilgit, Baltistan, this past weekend, killing at least nine people, including two soldiers. Reports have suggested. No group immediately claimed responsibility and the motive for the shooting was not clear. Gilgit Baltistan has however witnessed sporadic sectarian violence over the past several decades. In April 2012, gunmen had dragged nine Shia Muslims off a bus in Chilas and shot them dead. As pass jo ki thi ke na jin side ke rin side as pass road ke side se hi kiya hai. Lekin bahut fire kam nahi. Chilas is also near a China-backed dam under construction. Locals have long accused Pakistan and China of atrocities 
and indiscriminately exploiting natural resources with no regard to their rights. Moving on, a coalition of development partners has unveiled an $8 billion fund dedicated to assisting Bangladesh in mitigating and adapting to the impacts of climate change, which IMF is leading. IMF Chief Kristalina Georgieva informed that Bangladesh has been at the forefront of those warning about the elevated risks of climate change for vulnerable countries. Sea level rise and storm surges have allowed seawater from the Bay of Bengal to infiltrate drinking water sources. According to a World Bank report released in March 2018, the number of people displaced by climate change in Bangladesh could reach 13.3 million by 2050, making it the country's number one driver of internal migration. India has agreed to the new Maldives government's request to withdraw military personnel stationed in the island nation, Maldives President Mohammad Muizu claimed on Sunday. The remarks came two days after Muizu met India's PM Modi on the sidelines of the COP28 climate summit. New Delhi, which has long-standing cultural, financial and security ties with Mali, provides certain military equipment and assists in disaster response. Muizu, who is backed by a pro-China coalition, had campaigned to alter the Maldives' India First policy and promised the removal of small Indian military presence. Opposition leader and former president Mohammad Nasheed has, however, warned such actions will not benefit the people of Maldives, adding that for the safety and security of the island nation, India is paramount. The Anantnag district of Jammu and Kashmir has got national recognition as the best performing district across all union territories in India for robust advancement of fisheries. The felicitation was announced on the occasion of World Fisheries Day on November 21 in Ahmedabad. The Anantnag District Administration held a separate felicitation ceremony this past weekend, during which officials awarded employees of the Fisheries Department and young entrepreneurs for their efforts. Anantnag, a front-runner in trout production, is not only a hub for trout but also destination for ecotourism. कोशिश ये है कि इनकी जो कहानियां हैं ये लोगों तक पहुंच पाए और कैसे ये न सिर्फ रोजगार अपने लिए खड़ा किया है बल्कि बाकी लोगों को भी दे रहे और एक बाशी इकोसिस्टम पूरा बना है जिसमें फीड वाला ट्रांसपोर्ट वाला रेस्टोरेंट वाला जुड़ा है इसके साथ साथ मैं अनंतनाग के मैं एक खासियत ये भी है इस बारे में फिशरीज के सेक्टर में कि हमारी बहुत सारे जो वुमेन है इसके साथ जुड़ी हुई है और बाकियों के लिए एक प्रेरणा एक इंस्पिरेशन बनी है मैंने 2016 में एक फिश फार्म कंस्ट्रक्ट किया था जो कि ब्लू रिवोल्यूशन की मतलब स्कीम एक थी उस वक्त जो डिपार्टमेंट ने मुझे प्रोवाइड किया था उसके बाद मैंने अभी तो मेरे पांच पॉन्ड है तो वो मैंने फिर खुद कंस्ट्रक्ट किए थे इनकम मतलब जो पर अनम इनकम रहता है वो बहुत ही अच्छा रहता है मैं हर किसी मतलब जो भी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट यूथ है इस वक्त जम्मू एंड कश्मीर में उनसे मतलब अगर उनके पास ऐसा सोर्स है वाटर का सोर्स है तो वो कंस्ट्रक्ट पाउंड की Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.